And at this ultra-microscopic level of describing the universe, there's almost no distinction between what's matter and what's energy. It just is. It's the fundamental stuff. Now you could say, why is there anything at all? You know, why, where does that energy come from? And that is tantamount to the age-old question of why is there something rather than nothing? Which is a very deep question. And I don't believe that science has given us any answer to it yet. So my own way of thinking about it is, I look out the world and I do see stuff. I do know that the world has energy. Where it comes from, I don't yet know. But I like to think about the strings as the fundamental carriers, the fundamental currency of the universe's energy. And that's really what they are. Now, for what is space made of, again, we don't yet know. One possibility is that space may be made of strings. And that would be a very nice finale to the story if that can be made precise. It may be that just like a familiar piece of material is stitched together from individual threads, and only when those individual threads are stitched the right way do they fill out a piece of material, it could be that the fabric of space is similarly stitched together from the strings and string theory, therefore only when the strings arrange themselves in a sufficiently coherent pattern do you get space as we know about it. If that idea is correct, it suggests that if you have an individual string, it is a shard of space, it is a piece of space, but it's not living necessarily in an ambient space. There could be an 